Hey guys, welcome back as we begin our third devotion on this countdown to Easter. If you haven't watched Monday nights or Tuesday nights with Pastor Tony and Pastor Jonathan, please do. Last night, Pastor Jonathan talked about what Jesus went through in the very early stages of this way of suffering on the Via Della Rosa. Tonight, Jason Goodman is going to be talking about where Jesus picks up his cross for the first time. And where because of the, the physical weaknesses of the beating he's already taken, it was hard for him to get to Golgotha. And he has to get to Golgotha. And God makes sure he gets to Golgotha. And we read where Simon begins to help him. And that's what Jason's going to be focusing on tonight. We have prayed over this. And we pray this blesses you and ministers to your heart. I'm in John chapter 19, verses 15 through 17 today. And it says, Then they shouted out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate asked, Shall I crucify your king? The high priest replied, We have no king except Caesar. Then Pilate handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus, and carrying his own cross, he went out to the place called the place of the skull, called in Aramaic, Golgotha. So what we have here is that Jesus is given his cross to carry. The sentence is passed and, and Pilate has seemed to make Jesus uh, carry that cross. But we know as believers that Jesus willingly gave his life. We also, as believers, need to carry our cross. In John 10, 17 through 18, Jesus tells us that he lays his life down willingly, that no man takes it from him. Right here in John, where it looks like that Pilate is taking his life from him, that is not the case. Because Jesus is commanded, uh, has, is working on a command from his father, where that he is to lay his life down. And he does that willingly. And so we need to remember this as well, that it's, it's a reminder to us that, that Jesus does carry his cross. He does accept the sentence, but he does so at the command of the Father, and that we also carry a cross as well. He has been beaten at his trial. He's been whipped by the Romans mercilessly. The crown of thorns is driven further into his head. The robe has been ripped from his body, again, causing more pain. So Jesus had re has received his cross and all of these things are going on. It's just a reminder to us that Jesus was 100% man and he was 100% God. Hey, 
Let's take a look at Matthew chapter 27, verse 32. It says, as they were going out, they found a man from Cyrene named Simon, whom they forced to carry his cross, his being Jesus's cross. And Jesus had just fallen here. He, we talked about you know, what he'd been through up to this point, but, but Simon was forced into carrying Jesus's cross. He was from Libya, so he was there during that time of Passover, and maybe he was a Jew, it doesn't really say, maybe he was just there as an outsider seeing what was going on in Passover, and he's here, and, and Roman soldiers pressed him into service to carry the cross of Jesus. And, and Luke talks about that Simon was, the, the soldiers forced him to walk behind Jesus and follow Jesus as Jesus being weak. They didn't want him to die before he got to the cross. The cross is, the, is that place of torture where it just took days and days for uh, criminals to die and people to die on the cross. But also we have to remember that um, Jesus was supposed to die on that cross. Um, so all of this, these things that are going on uh, facilitated Jesus getting to the cross to die to be that sacrifice for us. But one of the things here for Simon um, that we need to remember. Simon was forced to carry a cross and walk behind Jesus and follow Jesus uh, along that path. It needs to be a reminder to us that we, we willingly follow Jesus. We willingly take up our cross daily and follow Jesus along this journey because he willingly laid down his life to be able to put us back in right relationship with Father God. Let's take the rest of this week and, and reflect and remember and, and take those things and apply them to our lives. Let them reveal to us and to you who Jesus is and what he did for us on the cross. Let's pray. Father, I just thank you today for letting us be able to remember what you did for us on the way to the cross and help us to receive and take up our cross daily and willingly. We just thank you for all of this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Covers my sin Each time I come into your presence I stand in wonder once again Your grace still amazes me Your love is still a mystery Each day I fall Oh, patience.
still a mystery each day. Still amazing.